What's up everyone? Thank you for joining me. My name is Sainar Edwards and welcome to Ski Swift Coding for Everyone. One of the first re reasons why I built this channel is uh, because I wanted to help people. I wanted to help people, uh, you know, learn, you know, in their journey uh, on how to build uh, Apple apps using a Swift programming language. I have been learning how to, to use Swift programming language for about two years now. Um, been really taking it serious for the past year and it's currently January 2018 and in December 2017 I was successful at posting my first app on the iOS App Store called Coasty Trivia. Uh, it's a trivia app that just pays homage to some of the people who have come before us and uh, that has allowed me uh, you know to serve in a capacity uh, in which I do. And so I'm a storekeeper in the Coast Guard. So my background is in, in purchasing. Uh, so it's not in coding. So I'm, I'm not, a, you know, like a natural at this. I'm not an expert, you know, which you'll see, you know, a lot on YouTube and, and you know, other websites and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, like I figured that, you know, maybe my success story can help somebody else out there uh, that is, uh, you know, has an idea, you know, either in their mind or on paper somewhere. I'm also a father of four. I have four girls, uh, married, and so so you know time is very very short. Uh, but currently I'm uh, I'm away from my family right now, which is kind of tough. But I do you know I, you know I have a little bit more time now to kind of you know focus and uh, you know kind of hone my skills and you know hone my craft uh, in this as well. And so you know I'm very excited to do that, and I hope I could you know help you guys out along your journey as well. Uh, one of the second reasons is, uh, you know, I started this channel is because I wanted to challenge myself personally um, uh, to be able to, you know, step out of my comfort zone and, you know, you know, out of the norm and just try something different. Uh, I'm trying to introduce myself into some moderate or to, you know, low level uh, amounts of stress to be able to build up my durability and to be able to push myself to that next level. You know, one of the things in life, you know, that we should all be striving to do is to get better. And I think this is a great tool to use uh, to obviously put myself out there and, and uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to kind of hold myself accountable, you know, like I'm accountable to you guys, you know, to the viewers, you know, that may be watching this because, you know, I obviously, you know, we want to get better and, uh, I, you know, I want to be able to help you guys out. And so by doing these videos and, you know, having this channel, I think that's just, uh, you know, kind of like a motivator for me, you know, to, you know, to push myself, you know, to get better and better uh, every day. And, uh, you know, I hope that we can do that and uh, I hope that I can help you along your journey. So obviously one of the first things you need to be able to to build um, uh, projects, uh, you know, to the, you know, to develop apps is, is a Mac. And, and you're going to need a Mac that runs um, a Sierra or a high Sierra. And, you know, you're going to need Xcode 9, uh, which is the, uh, you know, the software that we'll use. Uh, you know, to, you know, to use, uh, to build the programs, to build, you know, the apps and stuff and to use the Swift programming language. And you're also going to need the student materials that is located in the book that I would like to follow um, in this channel um, uh, or, or in this series. It's called uh, App Development with Swift. You can download it at iBooks. Uh, it's a free book. Um, it's called App Development with Swift. Everyone can code. Uh, very, um, you know, cool and interactive book, you know, it's got all like the vocabulary words and the, uh, you know, you know, the different learning objectives and things that, you know, that we'll learn and do uh, the different projects and everything in it. So once you have Xcode downloaded, we'll open up a new playground and we'll run our first line of code, which is just, you know, a code, uh, a line of code that says, hello world. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things, one of the traditions that uh, every programmer does is uh, they do, uh, you know, the hello world. A statement so we'll do that here uh, right now so you open up Xcode and then you'll say uh, get started with a new playground you can keep it on this iOS and you'll keep a blank template okay and then you'll hit next you can give it a name or you can keep it my first playground or my playground save it to your desktop or wherever you would like and one of the first things you'll notice is uh you'll see this comment up here. This is a comment, um, you know, so it's not technically a part of the program. And it's just, you know, it just gives the definition of a playground. Playground is where people play, you know, you know, where people can play. And so this is where, as a developer, 
uh, and as a programmer, you you'll come to test out your code, and you can see uh, the response uh, to it, and you know you know very quickly. Uh, so here in the right panel, you can kind of see you know the output of this uh, variable uh, str hello playground, you know very quickly. And then down here, you can expand the uh, debug area or the console area to also see it. So you just click at the bottom and just drag up uh, like that. Um, and also you'll see this UI kit, import UI kit. And the uh, UI kit is a framework that the Apple engineers have developed for us to be able to use the Swift programming language to be able to develop the apps. Um, you know, it you know, contains, you know, just a lot of, you know, different tools, resources, and information, hundreds of thousands of lines of code uh, for us to be able to do what we need to do on this end. So keep that line there. That's very important. So I'll go ahead and delete this string. It says var string var str. And we'll create our own. So I'll call it greeting. So we'll do var for variable, a variable declaration, and we'll just put greeting. And then you write the equal sign, and then to assign a string in in uh, Swift and Xcode, you have to use uh, a double set of quotation marks. So I'll put one set, start typing, and then the other set shows up. So hello world. And then, so as you can see, you know, in the, in the output in the, in the right panel here, you can see hello world immediately. Uh, down here in the console, you don't see anything yet because we haven't printed it out yet. So what we'll do now is we'll just call the print function, print hello world, or print greeting. This is the variable that it's in. You can see it's a string. And we'll see it here in a second. Once it decides to update, as you see, it's ready, it's running. See, there it is, hello world. So so that's your first official line of, of code that you wrote in the, in playground, in the playground. And um, Swift is a very, very um, safe, expressive, and, and fast language. Uh, one of the safety features is, uh, and one of the smart features as well, is, uh, is, is type inference. So, the type of variable that we just declared as a string, you know, it's just as it's, it's words, just a piece of text. Uh, you know, you can put anything in here. You know, even if this was numbers, if we put one, two, three inside these double quotes, it'll be a string. All right. Uh, but you can tell that it's a type of string, and we didn't we didn't have to tell Swift that it was a type of string because it's smart enough to know that uh, because of what we put in it. Uh, but if you hold down the Option key and you hover over the variable greeting, uh, open your declaration, and you click on it. It'll tell you uh, that the declaration was var greeting and uh, and that is of type string. And if you were to click on that, uh, the documentation will you know open up and and as you can see, you know it gives you you know the overview, the definitions, and everything uh, and and how to use it and so on and so forth. Some very good information in here, uh, and you can look at that uh, later on as well if you would like. Uh, but Swift is a very smart language. So we'll declare a different type of variable. So let's just say var my age, and I'll put 31, okay? So my age. So this is a different type of variable, right? So this is what we call in the Swift program language, this is an int, uh, short for integer, which is just a, just a whole number. And if you do the same thing, hold option, hover over it, and you click on the my age declaration, it'll tell you that it's a type int, all right? Now let's try to put, let's see, let's say greeting. So since since both of these are variables, you know, we can change, we can change what they are. So, so I'll do a print statement here. So I'll print my age. And you'll see 31 pop up at the bottom of the console. All right. So everything is run from top to bottom. So every time something's new, is uh is ran you know it's gonna rerun all the code from top to bottom so i want to change greeting into let's say i want to put an integer in there let's say so i'll put greeting now it equals i don't know let's say 10. let's see what xcode does oh no we got an error cannot assign value of type int into the type string so swift uh you know, uh, Xcode is smart enough to know that, hey, uh, up here, you you know, 
you declare a greeting to be a type string, like you can't make it an integer. Um, you may not understand it now, uh, but but this is very important because you know it's just one of the safe features. Like it won't let you uh, do these type of things because. Uh, things can get really messy in your code and your code can crash and then you'll get bad reviews people will stop you know downloading your apps they'll delete it um so you don't want things of that you don't want things like that and 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 that's one of the great features of uh, of this language is that it's safe you know so so you declare it a string so you can only put strings in it so i can just change it though i can change it i can put let's say i, I want to say what's up I can type So now a greeting means, you know, it says what's up. You can see it over here in the right panel and now I can print it out. So before it was hello world and it'll print out hello world again because we still have it up there. Uh, but now at the bottom, you'll see all three. So hello world 31 and now it says what's up. So greeting means what's up. And then I'll, I'll even write it again, greeting. It's still gonna say what's up. So we changed it. Yeah, it's a variable. Now a constant, is used, uh, you know, differently. A constant is something that doesn't change, right? Something you don't want to change. So, so let's just say, you know, so a constant in Swift, uh, we use the, you know, the let word. So let uh, name equals, and I'll just put ski. So name, so so name, so it's still a variable. So it's still a variable and still of a, of a type string, but it's just something that won't change. So you can't go down here now and say name equals Edgar or something. You can't do that. It's gonna yell at us. Cannot sign the value name. Name is a let constant. So so you know something that won't change. You know that's something you know that's gonna stay right. You know so that's that. I think that's long enough for this video. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you join me for more. Uh, please stay tuned in and uh, subscribe for more videos and uh, so you can get the notifications. But uh, take care and uh, we'll see you soon.